Dad. This is it. We got all of our hospital bags and stuff, suitcases packed. Definitely overpacked. I got... <laughs> <laughs> well, not really. It looks like we did, but not really. It's just that we got big items that is taking True. up a lot of space. And a lot of Tripods. People, yep. And a lot of people don't have to, like, think about content. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, we have, like, four different cameras, tripods, like you said. I'm drinking an energy drink because I need some energy. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, I have a um, pounding headache. I also got, you know what I'm saying, game system in the book bag. Uh -huh. Because now, actually, I might have some time now, actually. Yeah, actually, because... Oh, I'm super bright right now. Especially because I am going to be induced today. I don't know how long I'll be in labor. So, I could be in labor for a couple days. We really don't know. So it's definitely important that we have all this stuff because technically it's not overpacking. I wonder if they're gonna feed us tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat. Or I wonder if I have to get something. Yeah, I mean, either way, you could just order something. Oh, I'm smelling KFC right now, so I'm thinking about maybe I'll get like KFC. We have to see if you can eat. Yeah, if you can, <laughs> If you can eat, then guess what? Yeah, we'll get whatever. You can get something too. Yeah. But thank God, in the area where we're actually delivering, um, you know, the hospital, there's a lot of different food spots, yeah. so we'll be straight. Like, yeah. and I'm talking about like walking distance, so. I mean, not that I'll be able to walk there, but like door dashable distance. Yeah. Door -dashable or I can distance. go out and go get it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we're super excited. Mm -hmm. We're about to head to the hospital. Um, it's just so weird. Like we were saying like goodbye to our apartment, like just me and him, you know? Yeah. It's time to head towards the hospital. We were doing all of our, oh, this is our last time I know. locking the door. Like, just me and you. Yeah. The last time in the apartment, just me and you. Uh -huh. It's the last time going down these steps, just, just me and me you. Just me and you. Yeah. yeah. It's just crazy. You know what? Like, it's a blessing in disguise about this induction. Because you know what? Like, at least we have this time to sit there and, like, take in those last moments type of thing. You know what I mean? And we're not rushing around because my water's broken. I'm leaking everywhere. And, you know. Trisha has been uh, very, very emotional. So her face is yeah. a little red and a little beat up right now. She's been crying a lot yeah. lately, so. Not not sad tears, just like, whoa, tears. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see Trisha holding our baby. That's why, yeah. that's like the number one thing I'm so excited for. I just can't wait to see Trisha holding our daughter. So oh, thanks, we're gonna hop in the car. We're gonna head to the hospital. Yeah, we'll probably talk to you guys either outside the hospital or once we get inside. See you guys in a bit. We are just hours away from baby girl being here. Um, but I really wanna, you know, show you guys and tell you guys how our labor and delivery really went. So right now we are in a, I'm not gonna lie, we are in a tight space room. They, they call this the big room, but like this feels like a small room, I'm not gonna lie. Like we are like, it, it's crazy in here too. Like the room, looks crazy super crazy and i do want to say that for you guys that are out there in the future who are probably preparing um to go into labor delivery and stuff like that you really do not need to pack as much as people tell you to do online you know what i'm saying because i'm not gonna lie like look at the mess we have going on well pretty much me because she's, she's not part of none of this those are our luggages over there we have not yet gone in them besides the uh pink one to get Trisha's toiletries out so she can wash her face or, or brush her teeth. She needs to do something with the, her toiletries. Same thing with me. That was the only thing I got, toiletries. And then we have the bag right here that hold our cameras and stuff like that. Snacks, we really haven't been snacking. I brought my system, can't even use it because you can't even change the source on the HDMI cable cord. Um, I've been, I got my phone right there. I've just been playing like a, a little iPhone game in the meantime. Um, so yeah, this has been our you know, this is the real, the real deal right here. Labor and delivery right here. Got yeah, Trisha over here. As you guys, you guys are probably like, all right, what is going on with the bed? <laughs> like, what is going on? So, first of all, we got the queen over here. Hi. The one who is the oven right here. This the is the oven. oven. <laughs> we got the oven over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Babe's dinner almost ready. The bun is almost out of the oven. Okay. okay. <laughs> So what we have going over here is um, we have this peanut ball right here that is supposed to be open, helping Trisha's pelvis open and expand for a baby girl to come out, to help her come out, okay? Mm -hmm. She just got the epidural, so she's over here shaking. I don't know if you guys can see. She's like, yeah. like jitterbug. <laughs> she's over there jittering. Um, 
but she's feeling a lot better because she had a random like just random pain come mm-hmm. out of nowhere like it was like a she was on the medicine ball right yeah baby girl was on the medicine ball and as she was bouncing the medicine ball um she got this random like crazy cramp yeah. pain like, and out of nowhere out of nowhere so and it, like it was i didn't even say anything to you like in the moment of like exactly what i was feeling because you know like when you're in pain sometimes like you just don't say it all because you don't want to like like give it like vocally out you know what i mean because you don't want to like add to it type of thing but like i literally felt like i was going to pass out i felt like i was like hyperventilating i felt like i was going to throw up like i was going through it and then that's why i was like yeah no i I need the epidural like asap yeah so it was actually pretty crazy because trisha said that before we even got in the hospital and everything was like oh no you know once i get in the hospital i'm getting the epidural asap i'm not playing with around with this right Came in the that hospital. That was also when I thought I was this girl, naturally. This girl didn't get no epidural. Yeah. Until she was around like four. Mm-hmm. Four centimeters. She got the epidural. Mm-hmm. Um, when she got that random pain and she was bleeding in the in the bathroom because she had to go to the bathroom. Um, but, you know, it was normal signs. Nothing like uncommon or anything. Oh, yeah. And then uh, she got the epidural. And then after that, I asked the nurse, you know, what's next? And she said... Um, she has to go tell the doctor that she got that Trisha got the epidural because they were going to break Trisha's water by like you know with the tool and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually have the tool over here, which is kind of crazy. So they put this. It's like a crochet hook. They put this up there to break Trisha's like water, which is insane. So she was gonna come in here and use the epidural. Oh, Trisha had the epidural, so she was gonna come in here and break Trisha's water, mm-hmm. but turns out as she went out there to go get the doctor trisha's water just naturally broke so yeah. trisha's water is like now just it's just coming out yeah. <laughs> it's, it's coming out and now we're just waiting baby girl should be here today to be honest i really needed like something to happen like i'm really happy that my water naturally broke because like mentally like because i'm getting induced like i felt very i don't want to say disconnected from the process but very like like things are just happening to me you know what i mean like my body's not really like experiencing these things naturally like it's just happening to me so the fact that like my water broke on its own it was kind of like a confidence boost for me you know what i mean like it feels like my body's like doing its thing now as opposed to just working off of the medicine i don't know yeah. So it was like a confidence boost for me that my water broke. Thanks. <laughs> good, good job. Thank you. Not oh, that yeah. I did anything, but. <laughs> no, you're doing a lot. I love you're you doing too. a lot. Thank you, babe. I'm proud of you. Babe. Thank you. Right. I know you're you've been in a lot of pain and it's been a lot on you and everything, mm-hmm. but we're almost there. Once mm-hmm. baby comes out, then it's just the recovery process of just us relaxing, looking at our daughter. <laughs> It'll all Picking be the right name. There. I know. We still didn't pick the name. We still don't know our name. Right, we got two names, guys. Yeah. Like we said before, we've been saying in our videos and stuff like that, mm-hmm. that we're waiting to see her face to choose yeah. the name. So Which I feel like is really special, you yeah. know? And Trisha did get us two, like, circle things that has the two names. Name on it. So whatever name we choose, we're going to, like, be taking a photo. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, um, you you're coming now. We're going to wait in the parking lot. I can't stay home with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Look at my ears. They're all red to be. My blood pressure is like, I'm all hung up here. You're laughing at me. Don't laugh at me, Trisha. How you feeling, honey? I'm okay. Um, they they checked me, and I'm four centimeters now. Oh, okay. Um, slowly. Yeah, but um, when she was checking me, like I heard like a pop, and like a whole bunch of fluid came out. Yeah. So oh, yeah, and, a whole. And you feel like you're pain, but you're not. Exactly, a whole bunch of fluid came out, and then um, she also like like kind of went up there and like compressed more so that more came out and then um they inserted like a internal monitor to see how strong my contractions are um you you don't feel that no i don't feel they did the catheter and everything i don't feel a catheter either okay um but the epidural hurt really bad putting it in but it feels so much better right yeah you just feel pressure not pain yeah like you you could see on like the contraction chart it's like literally waves like it's yeah. camera was saying it's less time that i don't have a contraction versus like having the contraction yeah so how far apart are they 
They look like they're like 30 seconds apart. Oh. Yeah. All right, so we're going to leave now. We're going to sit in the parking lot, so that's not a problem. When you want us to run out, when you want mommy to come up, just have Cameron come down. But we're going to, on the way there, we're going to stop at Dunkin'. Do you want Dunkin'? I can't have anything. Cameron want anything? He was going to go run to Chipotle. Oh, he's probably better because he can pick what he wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just going to rest and stuff, but I'll let you know when they do the next cervical check. Uh-huh. And then, when is that going to be, do you think? I have no idea, but I mean... Like, you're here, so if you want to come up, you're more than welcome. Alright guys, so I'm out the shower. I did switch the camera to a smaller camera because I'm about to go head out. And I'm going to see if my mom is still in the lobby. Which is, if she's still in the lobby, she's almost pulling a 24 hours just chilling, sitting in the lobby. Which is crazy. So we're going to go see. If she's there, she's going to be in the vlog. Um, I'm going to take some of those, like, old-time, like, Polaroid photos with her in the, in the lobby. Just to, like, you know what I'm saying, get some uh, memories of that. Trisha's parents is finally here as well. They're um, downstairs in the parking lot, just waiting until we have some more information on what's going on with Trisha. Trisha's about to get checked to see if um, she moved up in the centimeters by being dilated. Yeah, we're just gonna just keep moving on. I'm gonna head out, see if I can get something to eat real quick, come back so I can just, you know what I'm saying, just chill out with Trisha. So Trisha did wake up, she took a little nap. I told her to take her ass back to sleep. <laughs> I'll probably fall asleep once you leave, but it's like very exciting right now. You know? Why? Because you're up, like you smell like active, I mean, I say you smell active. I smell active. You smell, you smell good. It's like active in here. But I'll probably like fall back to sleep once you leave. Love you. I love you. Be safe in here. Always. Mm. Don't be sneaking some snacks. I can't even move my legs. I definitely will not be sneaking right. any snacks. Don't say it like that. But um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got the emergency thing on the side of you. Yeah. I'll try to be as fast as I can. Yeah. Love you. Love be you. safe. Meet up with my parents and tell them I said hi. Gotta find where they're at real quick. You can walk through the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. I'll see. They're, they're probably parked by the car. They probably are. 1028. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My birthday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. 1028 on April 26th. Where's Cameron? My husband. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you, man? Feeling great. Thank you. Daddy, you don't mind, I'm going to have you take a baby step to that way. Yep. Gorgeous. It oh. feels uncomfortable, but it looks better in the photograph. Your life just changed for forever. Are you ready for this, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, it's a happy moment. You look stunned right now. <laughs> All right, Ticket family. I know you guys are super excited to see Baby Girl. I know you guys are super excited about, you know, everything that me and Trisha's been going on. We didn't even fill them in. Like, we're in postpartum now. Yeah, we're in postpartum we now. Over here. It's just been a lot that's been happening and a lot that we're taking in, again, emotionally and just so, 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 so happy. It feels super great to be a dad and just to be able to see, you know, Baby Girl here. And Trisha has been the best like <laughs> trisha deserves so much no. and don't worry i'm working on your push gift right? that's okay don't worry honestly you telling me that i'm doing great like just verbal like affirmations of it makes me feel really it good. is insane like how much of a warrior trisha is like she is like and honestly like trisha asked me am i gonna look down there right i was looking down there the whole entire time as i was helping trisha supporting her mm -hmm. holding her leg as she was pushing Right, I was looking down there. I did not feel like passing out. I didn't feel like any of that. And not only that, but like as I'm watching this happen, like the respect for women is insane, bro. Like my respect for women just jumped up like crazy. Like my mom's gonna be coming up here, okay? So we're gonna do a video where you know we're gonna be sh like our parents is gonna be meeting baby girl for the first time, okay? When my mom comes up here, I'm gonna tell my mom, you know what I'm saying, face to face, how much. I respect her and everything because I just witnessed something she did for me and that's the reason why I'm here so not that I never had respect no, for my mom obviously. or anything if you look I'm, at her differently. I look at her different differently now because I seen what happened and what she went through to have me so I even look at my mom differently like I always looked at my mom as like okay my mom you know what I mean like she's yeah. a woman she goes through pain like she went through the pregnancy whatever but like after pushing a baby out going through this postpartum and then still having to lock in so that this way the baby can eat right on time. I'm running off of 45 minutes of sleep in the past two days. Well, you got like, I gave you like a good hour, hour and 20 minutes. Hour and 20 Trisha minutes. Trisha gave me a lot of time I to gave sleep. four hours. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to, when the time comes, I was feeding her. when the time comes, Trisha's going to get her sleep. I got pushed through through the night, like, 
Yeah. From no. like four to like six is we like six up all night, ish. Like for the past two days because I was in labor for like two days. Yeah. Meeting baby girl for the first time has been absolutely amazing. We have her it's in the everything. bassinet right here. I'll see we can't show you guys her face yet. Not yet, not yet. And I think that me and Trisha actually, we, I think we actually got the name. We chose a name. So you guys will figure out her name very, very soon. Again, one started with the A and the other one started with the K. If you guys want to try to guess in the comment section, mm -hmm. go ahead. We also haven't shown anybody like her face. Yeah. We haven't shown like any of our friends, any of our family, besides our parents, that's it. Yeah, so we're going to record that video too. We're going to give you guys a lot of content. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. I'm saying hit that bell button so you get notified every time I drop a live video. We're gonna be dropping it like these videos close together, so make sure you guys are ready. Oh, I have to post my Instagram photo. Oh, the, the it's time one. Oh, I was waiting until after I had her to, to post it. <laughs> yeah, we still gotta post a video today too, yeah. um, just to get you guys ready. You know what I'm saying? You guys are not, you guys don't know anything yet, so at this time right now, but you guys will later on. People have suspicions. So. Yeah.